Hi, I'm Ed Mattis, a system engineer with McNaught McKay Electric Company. Today I'm going to discuss control panel optimization and a key element, noise mitigation, for your consideration in your panel design. Electromagnetic interference, EMI, or electrical noise, is an issue that is increasingly identified as the cause for failures in your industrial control panel. Servo drives, variable frequency drives, switching power supplies, inductive load switching, and lighting are noise sources. On the other hand, noise victims are Ethernet wiring, analog signal wiring, encoder feedback wiring, programmable controllers, and high-speed sensing or counting. Failure to address this issue results in lost production, unnecessary downtime, high maintenance cost, and high troubleshooting cost. However, electrical noise can be reduced by using proper grounding and bonding principles. Let's take a look. The first important step is to utilize galvanized back panels. This approach ensures a central ground plane just like an electronics developer utilizes in their printed circuit board design. Otherwise, the paint on the common back panel, if it is not removed, acts like an insulator between the DIN rail and the metal mounting surfaces on all industrial products. The second step is to ground all grounding conductors to one ground bar on the back panel. This method reduces ground loops and ensures that all products are at the same ground potential. The last step is to utilize one inch braided straps between the sub panels within the enclosure. This approach provides a low impedance grounding pathway for high frequency currents that are greater than 100 kHz. Typical 14 gauge wiring is not adequate when frequencies above 60 Hz are involved. Rockwell Automation, Panduit, and Hoffman are leading manufacturers that support these recommendations, and additional information can be found in the following documents. For additional questions or videos like this, please give us a call or visit our website.